had a few people ask me how I use the uh, Easy Threading add-on kit uh, for the Chefware kits, Easy Jig, to cut threads in boxes. So I wanted to make this video to show that. <laughs> This is the easy threading add-on kit that I use with my Chefware Easy Jig to make threads for lidded boxes. The first thing that I would need to do is make sure to have the jig set up on the center line of the lathe so that it cuts correctly. There's a locking collar once you have that height set that you can lock in place to make sure that uh, when you drop that in the banjo every time it goes in the right spot. The next step is to square the banjo with the bedways and then uh, align the easy jig parallel with the axis of the lathe and the best way I know to do that is just to leave the tool post a little bit loose and then push that against the face that I know is square and then lock the tool post holder down on the banjo. So now anywhere that I move this banjo, as long as it's square with the bed, it should be perpendicular to that face there. With the workpiece still in the chuck, I screw the chuck onto the threading jig and put on some temporary blue thread locker. You don't want that coming loose as you're threading your project. With the banjo squared back up, I want to adjust the project so that it just scrapes the tooth of the cutter when it's in the three o'clock position there. And here's just scraping that. Small adjustments make a lot of difference on this, so I'm going to loosen that, drive it into the cutter a quarter turn, turn the cutter up about as high as the lathe will go. Maybe I'll start at 2000 RPM for now, and then just slowly advance the workpiece into the cutter. I want to make sure that I hold the chuck or the workpiece so that it doesn't get grabbed by the cutter and pulled in and I can control how smoothly this advances. I want to go just until it goes into the thread relief that I've cut. And then back it back out. I can see the tips of these threads are just a little bit flat, so I'll probably want to go in maybe one eighth of a turn more. But first I want to stabilize this with some CA glue. This will just keep the threads from chipping out. On walnut like this it's not really necessary, but for softer woods you definitely want to stabilize the threads. I've ground off the bottom of my cutting tool just a little bit so that I can have a smaller thread relief. I will advance that an eighth of a turn and recut.
For the female threads, the process is pretty similar. Square up the banjo, adjust the chuck so that when you screw it in, it just touches the cutter. You can just hear that barely scraping. Back that off and I'll pull it towards me, so counterclockwise, a quarter turn, and cut the thread. Tell I need to go quite a bit deeper, so I'll take it another quarter turn. the thread relief and then back out. Again we'll stabilize with CA glue. Flood some thin CA in there. And one more cut just to clean that up. I think I need to cut just a little bit more, but with the cutter, with one of the teeth in the nine o'clock position there, where it's just touching the wood, I can now, as long as I leave the banjo locked in place, I can undo the tool post holder and slide that out of the way and do a fit check with the threads on top. And I can see that it is too tight. It goes, but not enough. So what I need to do is bring this back in until that cutter just touches the tooth again. Lock the tool post holder in place and then back it towards me an eighth of a turn and recut. Again, I can loosen the tool post holder, swing that out of the way and check the fit now, and that fits nicely. You can adjust that however tight or loose you want the fit. So we'll go ahead and just put on a little oil and beeswax to lube those threads, spin it all together. And in this case, we got lucky, the grain lined up absolutely perfectly. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. Normally what I do is I make the female threads longer than I need, and then I just part this face off and just keep working it back a little at a time until the grain lines up. And 
that really makes a nice looking box when everything lines up and it looks like it was meant to be that way. Thank you.